Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in the great state of Minnesota, one of those Canada Junior kind of states, and also a, a land of a, um, I forget how many lakes, a million, a thousand, something like that. And we are on one of them. If you took a look at this little spit of land that this house is on and thought, holy shit, uh, same, same. This is a $15,250,000 house, five beds, seven baths, and just over 9,000 square feet. So not the largest house we've seen, um, kind, kind of in the, in the low to mid range as far as, as pricing goes. Anyway, let's see what this house has in store for us. It's uh, it's got a bit of a dollhouse vibe to it. I'm not really sure what's giving me that. Maybe it's maybe it's the the dark gray with the white trim. Um, got a boat dock. We got a an American flag because there is nothing more American than uh, exorbitant wealth. I did check the the build date on this house. In the Michigan house, it, it came to my attention that knowing when these houses were built uh, adds to the comedy somewhat. Uh, this one was built in 2014. So anything that attempts to look classical, uh, it's not. And anything that uh, is a little out of date looking, no excuse. Right, we got a circle driveway. We got a single, single little tree hanging out here in the middle. It's, you know what? It's funky. Um, look, the door situation here is very interesting to me. How many doors do we, we I think we've got a, a three by three. We've got nine doors on the front of this house. Uh, it looks like, you know, with the stairs up, like the one in the middle is supposed to be like the grand entryway, but but be honest, you're you're driving up to this house, you pull up here. Do you ever go up the stairs to use this door? Absolutely not. You you go through one of these ones. You never use that door. Giving us lots of lots of angles on it. That it's very busy from this angle. We got two different types of siding. We got this flat dark siding, we got this this thinner, lighter siding, and then we got this uh, stonework, um, either actual stone or a facade. We got stealth gables poking out here, Tr uh, diamond window, lots of, lots of shapes happening. I think that might be too many shapes. Here's the side. We've got big swaths of grass serving no purpose whatsoever, except to, uh, hate crime the bees. We hate the bees. Uh, we got uh, some lounge chairs that are facing the grass, not the water, which is an interesting choice. Interesting. We got this little porch off the side of the house. This looks like plastic. Is that a plastic, like, Ikea table? Like, like no disrespect if, if plastic Ikea furniture is your budget, but... That's not this budget. It's a... right, okay, dude. We got a little octagon patio. Jeez, Louise, are they ever going to let us inside this house? Oh, there we go. All right, we got... Oh, there's a dog. Hi, Mr. Dog. All right. You know what? They haven't done fully symmetrical furniture. I'm going to give them credit for that. We do have two and two on the chairs, uh, but they've shaken things up with this strain. I don't know what to call this piece of furniture. Is it, it's, it's almost like a, a very distinguished futon. We got fish scales around the fireplace. Everything in here is white. Let's, let's acknowledge that every surface, every stitch of furniture. Even that dog is mostly white. And we got this weird paneling in here. That's It's like house siding. It's an interesting choice. There's some big vaulted ceilings to have in Minnesota. You know, you are in Minnesota on a lake, which means you are like in a freezer approximately 11 months out of the year. That all just freezes over. Um, 
you know, the, it's it may seem inconvenient to be on this strange long spit of land, but once once the lake freezes, you could walk in any direction. We're open concept. We're open to this dining room set up here and then through to the kitchen. So all of these areas sound like the kitchen. You run that dishwasher one time and uh, it's it's all over for you. We do have some art on the walls here. It looks like uh, it looks like some water art, water themed, as if uh, as if you didn't get enough water looking out literally any window. Any window in this house will give you a beautiful view of the water. Why does the art also have to be water? And we do have a balcony up here, which means that the upstairs also sounds like a kitchen. It also means that uh, children with excellent senses of humor can drop things on people's heads from up there. This coffee table is directly from the Pottery Barn catalog. In fact, so are these light fixtures. These three right here, that one looks like maybe a little more choicey, but these ones, that's straight Pottery Barn. Got this strange hanging line of fake candles over the dinner table. Hanging orbs over here. All right, we're, we're continuing the theme. We've got a, a strange display for the wine bottles here. That's, I, I think we've seen that in one other house. Um, the thing about this, though, is that you really got a climate control. I do see a vent in there, so maybe there is climate control going on in that little closet. Uh, but it's also, it looks like these are glass doors which means that you're getting full sunlight through to the bottles, which isn't good for them. I still do not see even a little bit of color other than a bit of wood. We've got white ceilings, white carpets, white paneling on the wall, white tiles, white woodwork. God, how do you see anything in here? You know, this this strikes me as, as a stove sorely in need of a pasta arm, but alas, there is not one. Can we talk about the fact that like 90% of the houses we've looked at so far have this exact stove? Did a memo go out to like, like the one percenter weekly? It was like, oh, everyone's got to get this stove. It's the best one. Or is it just the most expensive stove on the market? And, and that they didn't even need to inform them. They just purchase it. I haven't seen a refrigerator in here. Where are they hiding it? It's literally, it's not any of these cat. There's, there's no suspicious cabinets. No suspicious cabinets there. We, is there no refrigerator in here? Is that the move? Is that the power move? Is it in another? Oh, there it. Oh, we've got a hidden ref That was so well hidden. And it's because everything is white. It just camouflages so well. Uh, you can't let them know you eat. You cannot let the peasants know that you need sustenance to survive. Uh, it just gives them the wrong impression. And then I think I see extra ovens in here. I mean, this this is an ergonomic placement of, of u appliances in the kitchen. I don't know about having extra kitchen tucked off to the side. Very proud of this sink. This is, yeah, this is auxiliary kitchen. What a bizarre choice. Well, there, it's, it's directly adjacent. So instead of making the world's largest kitchen, they just made two kitchens directly adjacent to each other. Literally, I mean, you, you had a toaster in that room. You got the toaster oven in here. Uh, you had a, a stove oven combo in there. You've got a stove here and the oven's over here. What is the thought process? behind this is this for when you're like hosting parties and you need caterers to come you need more space to put the caterers why would you have the caterers kitchen so prominently contiguous with the rest of the the normal kitchen is that a microwave i got a tv in the kitchen that's nice all right, and we've got what seems to be a study or a craft room of some sort we've got some some art artistic stuff going on. We got an easel. We got uh, paintings on the wall, which, see, which seem to have been created here. Uh, we got drawing tables. 
I wouldn't put a white rug in this space, personally. That's not a choice I'd make, but uh, whatever. And interesting that even in the art room, there's still not any color. Like, there's, there's color from the art. But really, this is the most inspiring space that you could dream up. A white ceiling and and vaguely gray but mostly white walls with white trim this crown molding is also atrocious i can't even tell if it's the crown molding that's that thick or if there's just a strip of white paint there but the baseboard is really high so i'm i'm thinking that that's just a a super size crown molding but they're not, you know, when you see the really thick crown molding like that, usually it's because it's ornately detailed in some way. And that's just huge and also boring. So, looks like we got a bathroom through here. Let's see if we get a, another look at that. Ah, yes. A giant bathtub smack in the middle. That is the showpiece of this bathroom. I'm guessing one of one or both of these doors goes through to a shower. We got a heated towel rack. Very nice. Uh, there's there's so many windows in this bathroom that they've had to rig the mirrors up on like scaffolding because there's no wall to hang it on. Uh, and I don't see. I mean, there's curtains here, but. This, this seems very, exp I know you're like on a, a strip of land with no neighbors around, but you might have, you might have people that live here that are outside. Oh, and it's got glass doors straight through to the patio that people are going to be walking on. That's so uncomfortable. Also from this camera angle, the last camera angle, this looked long, but it in fact is... A square just a, a bowl I think we've talked about the bowl the bowl baths before we're not ball shaped we're long as human beings we need to stretch out unless you're in the fetal position in there that's not comfy all right we got we got porch I love porch swings I love to rock it is very soothing I support that Again, though, we do seem to have an excess of columns. I don't know why we need that many in every corner. God, they really hate color. This is, this is, this might be the worst offense that we've seen on the all white all the time train. This is blinding. It looks like we've got an elevator here based on these buttons. That's nice and accessible. Oh, and we've got a uh, rope wrapped around the railing probably for better grip that's i have not seen that before that's an interesting detail would be better if they weren't just using it as a way to make the railing white like everything else god almighty i cannot i'm i'm going blind as we go through this house this is an interesting dome they've got up here this is a space that could be really impressive if it was anything but flat and white. Look at this, the the crown molding, n nothing, no no features, no details. Uh, there's this ledge above it that is just gonna collect dust like crazy and be impossible to clean. I mean, what what size ladder do you have to get to get at that ledge? Got a bedroom, nothing but white except for the bed frame. And I remind you, this is Minnesota, so while there might be some nice blues and greens in the natural splendor outdoors, uh, the majority of the year, it's gonna be white and gray out there. And guess what colors you made the house? You made them white and gray, which means you're just gonna go months and months seeing nothing else. Got a little sitting area out here. Oh! Oh, we missed it because of the camera angle, but in this bedroom, we have a TV over the fireplace. Look at that, it's a TV over the fireplace, and it's a twofer because it's also a TV in the bedroom. So we are destroying our circadian rhythms as we destroy the TV. And it's Minnesota, so you know that thing's getting used. How does anyone walk into this space and, and think that this was the correct choice. 
it's rabbit in a snowstorm. That's all it is. You, I, I, I can't pick out any features in here. I don't even know what I'm looking at. It's just white. Got a gigantic shower. Looks like multiple shower heads. You could fit the whole football team in there. Uh, you know, it, it's a shame because I, I feel like there are some interesting details, like these these windows above here. But it's it, you just nothing stands out. None none of your interesting features are on display because nothing's on display because everything is the same color. We've got another picture of water in case you didn't want to turn your head 90 degrees to the side to look at this water out the window. I don't know how I feel about having the balcony coming off the bathroom. Like, when do you ever actually use that? And it's awkward to have to go through the bathroom to get out there because then no one can use that bathroom while you're out there without, like, trapping you on the balcony for the duration of their bathroom usage. And, and I don't know, I've never, like, gotten out of the shower and been like, hmm, I'm going to go sit outside. I was going to say this looks like maybe another bathroom, but this looks like a, an appliance of some kind, like a microwave. I don't know what this little space is. This is just a weird sitting room with two, two chairs that you're like, you sit down in that and you're down for a while. There's, there's not really an easy way to get in and out of there. And then we've got the Peloton off to the side you know what you, the peloton needs an atrium and you've not given you know if you had dedicated this whole space to the peloton perhaps but uh i also feel like as as a as a parallel here i wouldn't want to be like actually working out and like working up a sweat and then collapse into the white chair there got a laundry room not sure where this is geographically Another bedroom with a balcony. Does every room have its own balcony? How did they work that out? And we've got like three little touches of color in here. <laughs> this this looks like it's a, supposed to be a child's room. And they've they've allowed her three pillows, a blanket, and a single painting worth of color in this white, white room. Do you think they bought these chairs in bulk? Because they've had the same chairs on every balcony, and it appears that they're going to have about 10 billion balconies. I think they could have gone through like a wholesaler. Oh, we've got some color on the wall. Uh, maybe this is for that kid's room, but we've got some fun wallpaper. All right. We've got we've got a little pop of color with, with this end table and, of course, the, the, the bedding a little bit and some, some paintings. Uh, still could be more. I'm also noticing, and I'm wondering how many I missed, they do have can lights in the ceiling, which, uh, th by 2014, there is no excuse. Everyone had agreed that can lights are awful by then. And I, I had a friend watching these videos, and she was saying that they're putting can lights in, in her house, but it's because they don't have high enough ceilings uh, to, to get away with that clearance. You know, Plebeian, economically normal houses get passes on that kind of shit. This is like a 15-foot ceiling. Why do you need a can light? You already have this fan hanging down. Why not just stick a light in the fan? We got more fun wallpaper. I don't like fish, but I'm okay with this because it's uh, relief. Oh, well, we, here's the diamond window. All right, that's fun. This is a nursery slash sitting room i'm guessing the idea is that you know whoever's taking care of the baby can lay down in here have you ever in your life like like people debate over oh is the nursery gonna be blue or pink or yellow or green or like you know but i feel like it's universally acknowledged that it's gonna be a color you know, there's going to be some sort of pastel soothing color for the baby. Have you ever in your life seen a white gray nursery? This is, this is how they keep churning out more sociopathic one percenters is, is they just, they, they get at them young and, and they just crush the souls out of their little bodies. Having, having dealt with infants, 
this is not ideal furniture for infant care. Like you, you want like a rocking chair or like a, a recliner or something where you can like comfortably lay down and hold the baby at the same time. Like you can't do that. You're not going to do that while you're like fully laying down. So I was saying that I liked the fun wallpapers in the bathrooms. Um, this isn't what I meant. This is a mistake. This, it, uh, my eyes are malfunctioning. I think if you pa if you wallpapered an entire room in this and put someone in it, I think that would be a Geneva Convention violation. That's what I think. Here's that wrapped banister in the elevator. Now where the hell are we? Why are there lockers? Are is this is this where the the armed guards are, are keeping their weapons? And this is where they put on their little armed guard shoes? Maybe. Oh, all right, they're showing us some interesting details. They've chosen an interesting coat hook. Good for you. And, oh, okay, I, it's nice. I don't know you need to be that proud about this one. It's, it's really, it's, it's not full picture worthy, really. We got a motorcycle indoors. I, I assume this is a basement. Uh, we've got can lights, still not necessary. These are very high ceilings for a basement. Um, you can tell because we have a motorcycle for scale. I see they've made the wise choice of, of doing a, a non-carpeted, very easily dried floor, and they've got drains in the floor. I, I assume when you are on a weird little jetty in the middle of a lake, it's kind of hard to keep the basement dry. What, what keeps getting me is that clearly an artist lives here. Someone here is like, has an artistic eye and they did not put colors in the house. All right, this is like a little lounge area maybe. This is, that's for like playing poker or something. And it looks like we've got a bar over here. I see a, a cooler or I see a, a mini fridge. I like, I like the blue ceiling in here. I think that's a really good compromise for the white and gray walls. I don't think people utilize colorful ceilings often enough. It's, it's a bold choice, but it is pleasant in a space like this. And we've got an in-home movie theater because you're just checking off boxes of, of things that rich people need to have in their homes. And, and of course, they, they couldn't have gone by the conventional wisdom of every movie theater ever made. They had to, they had to go with light colors on the wall and ceiling so that this room never gets dark. It's, it's impossible. Every time the screen flashes, this whole room just lights up. <laughs> and, oh, talking about just checking off the rich people boxes, it's a virtual driving range. Jesus, look how many golf clubs they have. Man, just wait till the lake freezes over. Go play golf on the ice. And here it is. Oh, we got a little, little tabletop fireplace thing here. I've seen those before. Those look interesting. I don't know what we're looking at now. Are they giving us pictures of the surrounding community? Yeah, this looks like, because this, this was not on the actual house, so this is just things that are conveniently nearby. What the hell? This is, this is literally a hotel in town. All right, I don't, I don't understand why this is included in the listing. God, rich people, rich people will literally be like, Oh, I don't need to pay taxes because I'm a self-made man. And then, and then they'll, you know, put local businesses that you have to reach by public roads in their Zillow listings as if they own them. God. All right. Well, this is, this is Minnesota. It's, God, what a, if this is where architecture is these days, I, I haven't actually gone back and looked at like when the other houses were built. This one's fairly recent. And if this is the way that modern styling and architecture is going for the wealthy, which I, I suspect might be the case, 
what a depressing world we have ahead of us. God, and for an artist. And, and how often do you think the virtual driving range in the movie theater actually get used? Or do you think they're literally just there because you're supposed to have them? I don't know, man. I don't think there's any excuse for the can lights. That's for sure. Well, if you saw anything that you think I missed uh, in the sea of white where I could not see anything, I very well might have missed some things. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, otherwise, you could like, subscribe, and other than that, have a good one.